There it go. There it go, P. There it go, P. Hey, I'm, I'm in here today. Yeah, you're here today. We got the TA 2017 Challenger, bitch. Look at it. Green money, too. I call it the Vin Diesel. The Vin Diesel. The Vin Diesel. That's what P call it. Why you call it the Vin Diesel, P? Bro, because this car is famous because of Vin Diesel. He just hit the streets. <laughs> only manual in these, too. Only manual. You can only get manual in these. Wow. And we about to drive this whole today. Let's do it. Let's do it, bro. I'm going to go ahead and tell them about this hood real quick. P got the satin wrap hood. Got that SRT hood. Got the dual air intakes. Look at that. TA on the inside. That shit's dope. Coming all the way around. Got another one. My Hellcat ain't even got that. So you know that's tough. Got the fog lights down at the bottom. We got the satin wrap uh, hood on the top. Obviously looking real good. Shark fin wrap too. Black uh, trunk. All that good shit, man. Look at the wheels. We got those two. Got that. Got this. Got the TA right there, just in case you thought it was a game. The wheels. Oh, we gotta show them the inside, right, B? Gotta show them the inside. Let's show them that inside. Nice suede. Mm -hmm. The leather right here on the door handle. Nice suede. Yep, be right. Got the TA on the seat. It's nice, man. Yeah, crazy panel. This is on all the new Challengers. Yup. Tough. I love that new car smell, dog. It's the best of all time. It's the time. best, man. It's the best. Got the manual, of course. Look at them gauges. Got the white gauges right there. 160 on the dash. I'm not a big fan of the white gauges, bro. I'm not either, but... I like the red look. I think they kind of make this one a little bit different. They do. Yeah. It definitely does. Mm. Changes. It's a game changer. Yep. All right, let's Maybe. get it. Let's talk about this price real quick. How you doing? Roll, open the door, bro. How you doing? It's nice. Almost as nice as my 71 Hemi Cuda. Oh, yeah, 71 Hemi Cuda? Yeah, it's oh. not, not original numbers matching, but... Oh, that's dope, though. Dope. I got to see it sometime. You got to let me do a review on it sometime. Oh, yeah? Yeah, on my YouTube. This is what he did. He's a YouTuber, so Ooh. he does re yeah. reviews on... Yeah, you should let me do it. What's your name? Open the door, bro. Oh, I don't What's your name? Daryl Mullenberg. How you doing? Good. I'm Corey. This is my guy, PJ. I'm PJ. Yes, sir. Yeah, I would like to do a review on it sometime, man. I can put it up on my YouTube. Okay. 71 Hemi Cuda? Yep. Ooh, I would love to put that next to side by side with my Hellcat and do a review on both at the same time. Cool. That'll be dope, man. Ooh, Ooh. that shit's tough. Ooh. I got to do a review on that. That's a must. Wow. That joint is so dope. Special. It looks just like this, low-key. It's just yeah, the, the original version. Yep. yep, that's crazy. I like wow. it, man. Daryl, so, pleasure. Right. You on the YouTube, man. Okay. So when you see this video, you gonna be in it. Cool. Look, <laughs> Daryl, right. is my guy. Daryl, we gonna do a review on that uh, Hemi Cuda. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Sounds great. Wow. That is dope, bro. Wow. That bitch is so raw. That mug was unbelievable. Bro, I gotta fully do a restored. That mug. Fully restored. Fully. I gotta do a review on that. that was, That's wow. to the mook right there. That's <laughs> the original mook. To the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about this price. Let's get back to the good shit, man. We got the Challenger 2017 TA Plus. Base price, $32,900, pretty much. Total, with all the bells and whistles added up, $43,280. Five-year warranty, 60,000 miles, blah, 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 all that good shit. 18 miles per gallon total combined, 15 city, 23 highway. We good to go, man. That's all we got for y'all. Check it out. If you want it, come get it. Also, we're at Stillwater Ferry Chrysler Jeep. Come up here, holler at my guy, Bino, Stale, Chad, Stanley, Dale, D Dale, any, talk to any of them. They all good people and they gonna put you on some, some ferocious ass shit like this. Come on, let's go and shut this door, buckle the fuck up and let's get it Safety going. Safety first. Safety first, my nigga know he be watching me, I'm safety first. <laughs> I'm a supporter. Yeah, my nigga's a supporter, this is my guy, man. This is my main man, 100 grand, don't lie. Yeah, I'm a supporter. Push that clutch man. in, man. There we go, let's give it a start. Got a little something, a little something. It ain't like the Hellcat. It ain't done, ain't done like that Hellcat. But I, I like it, it though. Yeah, I like it. Let's <laughs> put that bitch in reverse. I got the parking brake on. There we go. It's good. That parking brake can get you fucked up if you don't know what's going on. Because it's way down there. You be like that. There we go. So that bitch in reverse. Let's get it going. The Vin Diesel. I like these, man. The, the style. This is an aggressive car, man. And it's... Shit. Yeah, you can feel it, dog. You can feel it. Boy. You can feel it. Let me it's tell you. Yeah, you can boy, feel you it. Have me <laughs> All right, I gotta get my mind right. Game yeah, time. Yeah, it's okay. game time, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I had that face uh, from yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I had that face. You know what I'm saying, boy? You so 
don't you take the wheel. Bro, hey, don't I take like the wheel. My uh, guy's a real driver. This is yeah. what he do. So this I got to calm down. Baby. I'm dealing uh, with a professional. Though, bro, yeah, this is cool. Nice brake power. That's why yeah, no, that brake power is crazy. This don't even got Brembo's in the brake good. Yeah, this is great brake time on here. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, there it goes. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that jump. That's the jump. Yeah, that's it. I'm yeah. popping through them gears too, nigga. Yeah. I'm going through them. <laughs> professional. professional. Yeah. No, not professional. But I feel I, it. I feel shit, it, though. Shit in comparison. So, well, you know, to yeah, regular yeah, yeah, drivers. To regular you know, drivers, I'm, yeah, regular I'm a regular drivers. Driver, so regular you drivers. Feel, yeah, you know what they doing, getting through them gears. Woo, <laughs> got a little sideways on him. Yeah. Got that traction control light on. <laughs> they got this that slow helps. ass Chevy Cruiser in the front. <laughs> That's cool, slow us down, get us back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> I like this car. Yeah, that's really smooth, it's bro. Something different than the scat pack, just that TA. Yeah. You know? Straight up. Oh, traffic. And me, we, me and Pete were just talking about this uh, in the dealership earlier. Is that people don't, nobody needs 707 horsepower. Nobody needs 800 some horsepower. Not for a daily driver, Not, man. You don't need it, but yeah. everybody wants the shit, though. You love it. And you know, because, like, I'm in Europe most of the year, every year. So, you know, I think. Yeah, he just actually just got back from overseas. He plays basketball back. overseas. Yep. Oh. And so when you get a chance to use a car to its full ability, yeah. like, you know, when you're on the Autobahn, yeah. then you appreciate the cars. Crazy. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> you appreciate cars way yep. different when you can use them to their maximum capacity. You got the full control and all that shit. Yeah, If you're in, like, sure. America and you live in a city, automatic's the way to go. Because obviously, you see, my my Hellcat's automatic, you know what I mean? But some people some people live in a city, and they just, like, a, a stick or no no car kind of person. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. And if you're that kind of person, then fuck it. You got it, you know? But yep. for the people who ain't the best at a stick, and you don't want to be um, stripping gears and going through all that shit all the time, automatic's the way to go. But I ain't gonna lie, he can drive a manual, yeah, I can drive a manual. Gears, it's, man, fun it's, fun. It's, yeah, it's fun as fuck. It's fun as fuck. about that. It is. It really yeah. is, man. <laughs> Yeah, you can, but it's different. It's, it's not the different. same. Yeah. It's not the same. It's yeah. not the same. Now I ain't gonna lie. If I had a super bag of money, if my weekend toy, like my Hellcat, I probably would have got it as a manual. If it was like I had, I was super dumb rich, and yeah. it wasn't as much as I was gonna be driving. I drive my car every day, so yeah. daily driver. It's my daily driver. Yeah. But if I had a bag of money and I had a bunch of whips, my Hellcat would be an automatic uh, manual. Yeah, at least one of your vehicles. At least one of them. Yeah. though. You know what I mean, I would definitely vehicles, have yeah. a manual for sure. If I just had hella whips and hella bread. Especially if you, you know, you like going to the track, different yep. things like that. Yep. Then you get out there, you get the, the times, you know? yep. But then at the same time, it could also be a pro and a con at the track because if you at the track and uh, you want to get as fast time as you can possibly go, the shift you, right want, you want an automatic, yep. you know what I'm saying? Yep. But if you want to go to track just to have fucking fun, go a little sideways and all that, then you go to stick. Yep. You know, one thing I love about the manual, bro, that you can't get in the automatics as much as the downshift. Oh, that shit, yeah. You Dog, ain't never lie. The downshift yeah, is crazy. The downshift. The heel-toe. Yep. I ain't that good with the heel-toe, though. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's still fun, though, to hit that little boost mode. You can still feel yep. it. Yep. Oh, there we you go. You can still feel it. So... Clutch. I gotta touch on that. Usually, most of the time, when you get um in these kind of cars and that got hella power, and hella muscle, you it, the the clutch is so dumbass heavy. Like I ain't gonna lie, the clutch in the Hellcat yeah. is heavy as fuck in the manual. Yeah, you, you told I mean? me that. I asked it's you heavy about as that. fuck. Yeah, it's heavy. But like that right there. That's yeah, that's it. Yeah, but that that this good. one, this one, I ain't gonna lie, it's super dumbass. Like it's like a feather going down. That makes it way easier to go through gears. It does. When, it when does. You, when you but having that heavier clutch yeah. when you got a faster car protection. That's true too. Yeah. <laughs> There's a bro in the car, yeah. I guess. That is true. Yeah. That is true. I see it both. But it's fun nonetheless. Light clutch, hella power. Yep. And you know, it's a big ass car too, so it's got that practicality too. We were just talking about it. They came out with the with that Hellcat 300. 300. Then that'll be a buy for me because I like luxury. Yeah. So if I can have a fast like car. Corn whips. With the mixture of But he power. had the Challenger too, you had the red line. I had the red line yep. long, you know, when Challengers was first coming out. Yep. And I loved that car, yep. bro. Yeah, I, I loved remember. it. I remember you used to always tell me, I'm getting me one. Yeah, that was before I had my Challenger. He had a yeah. black red line one. The only one like only that in Minnesota. Minnesota. Yep. It was so fucking raw. It was black, 
gloss black with like metallic flakes in it. Had the red stripes on it. It was just like this, the but black with the red. Package Bro, it, it was so raw. Like, and I didn't have a, a challenger at that time, so I was fiending every day. I pull into work. He got the challenger. <laughs> I'd like, be on my motorcycle, though, but yeah. it was different though. Oh, who calling me, man? It was different though. Like I wanted that challenger, yep. and he was pulling up to it every day in my dream whip. Yeah, and now I got the Hellcat, man. Got the Hell and when you I know? got in your Hellcat, I said, this is the best car I ever drove. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah. He did say that. Yeah, this is the best car I ever drove. It's crazy. Yep. It's crazy. But it's, bro, I'm so glad you said that. Cause I, it's crazy because, like, you know, sometimes you're grinding so much that you kind of you kind of fail to realize where you came from instead of yep. looking because you're so busy looking to where you're trying to go. Yeah. That I was really that. I, I'm telling, I, I tell them all the time I was really yeah. that dude that had shit. He didn't yeah. have nothing. You know, one thing I'm so proud Man. of him, he didn't have nothing. He came a long way. You just look at his whole, even with basketball, you know, and yep. went to Division One, said he was going to do it. I just called him the other day and said, look, man, Slim, I'm a spiritual man. I told him, look, you got a plan. Too. You got a plan. God got a plan for your life, and you'll go get it. You're going to be yep. successful. He did say that. He said he was going to do the YouTube, and now he's doing it, man. Yeah, and it's getting love. Yeah. It's and now I look to him for car advice. <laughs> when it was the other way around, yep, just yep, two years ago. That's yeah. true, yep. <laughs> so that's a testament to his hard work, man, yep. to your craft. And huh? we both come from nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now we both got a whole lot to actually speak about. We got some shit yeah. that's actually worth mentioning. You know what I mean? Yep. So we enjoying every step of the way. Always thankful for what we got. Always. By, thanking God every day. To get it more. Yep. Man, it's crazy, bro. You did have that challenger. I had that, man. That and is. because of Dale at Fury Motors, if y'all yep. get a chance, go Dale. see him. Yep. He told me to get it. I was going to get a CLS 550, an older one. He said, man, go with a new car. And I trusted yep. him. And it was yeah, the best that decision. Challenger. That yeah. challenger was so raw. Listen, I don't raw, even understand. Man. I wish I had a picture I could throw up there real I did quick appreciate it. show y'all. I did appreciate it because I didn't know. And I appreciated it every day. He had it all the <laughs> yeah. time. He was like, yo, bro, I kind of you know, want to do something yeah. else. You know? And I'm like, no, bro, that's the toughest whip yeah. ever. Keep it. You know, and he ended up ultimately getting rid of it. But that was the toughest shit ever at that time I to love me. that car. And I, I wanted it so bad. I see it every day. I, I think I like this car more than he liked this car. I was, yeah, you did love that mug, bro. But it, it made so me raw. feel like, dang, you know, I got something dope. Yeah. My mom loved that car, too. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, me and my sister, we was thinking about getting one for my mom. Yeah. It was a surprise. So. Oh, I remember you telling me that. Yeah. Remember I told yeah, you, I, I said, what you that. think? Which ones you was think? So raw, bro. You think I should get her older one, a newer one, slightly yeah. used? That shit was so raw. But long story short, man, I didn't have nothing. This is my guy. He's been with me long fucking time and he knows just like any of my other guys know that now i finally got it and now it's it's a fact when i tell the people all my subscribers out there that this could be you you know what i'm saying because it was this one, could definitely be you, you know what i'm saying like it, it, it's, but sometimes when you don't have shit that you want it can become like you can be very excited thinking about what you want as a dream and yeah. then you thinking about you envisioning and driving it every day whatever your dream may be whether it's a house a car when you think about it and you think about you actually accomplish that goal yeah, it makes you happy desire for yes it. Yeah. but then sometimes this can also happen when you get so happy, but then next time you come back to reality, you realize what you don't have and how hard it, or how long it's going to take you to get to where you're trying to go that you can get unmotivated. You know what I'm saying? To keep going, but you just got to push through that shit and Every just keep day, on fucking going. One brick at going. a time. Yo, yes. One brick at a time. Man. They say inch by inch. Because he remember when I first got my Honda, I went in wanting to get a Challenger. Yeah, came out with a Honda came out Accord. With my Honda. You said, look, this ain't what I want, bro, but I got something to build. Yep. I said, we both build it because yep. I want an R8. Yep. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> we both want Lambos yeah, still. You know what I mean? Lambos is the yeah. ultimate. La Lambos is the ultimate. The ultimate. Yep. Lambos are so the ultimate. We're taking our steps. <laughs> yeah. But we still grinding. Like, even though where we at right now, you know. We still pushing every day to be better. You know what I mean? So yeah. once you get, once you accomplish one goal, set another goal, and then set another goal, and then set another goal. Yeah, that's the it. grind never stops. It never stops. Never. Man. Don't just get your car or your dream house or anything else that you may be pursuing, and then just stop once you get it. That's it. Get it. Appreciate it. Be happy. But then at the same time, keep setting goals keep for yourself. For more. That's the only way you get better. Next month. You know, one thing I love about your YouTube channel because long before I ever bought any of the whips, I would sit on YouTube. You know, we both mm -hmm. would. Yep. Eight. We FaceTime each other and out. talk about yeah, it. And just watching all kind of YouTube videos, yep. trying to get as much information as we can yep. before we go in there and buy. One thing I love about your is you're very honest and you're transparent. Yep. And I've watched Thanks, a lot bro. of videos, yeah, where I'm looking for, man, how much does this cost? Because I don't got a lot of money, yep. but I want that stuff. <laughs> but I want that shit. So then yeah, if yeah. I kind of say, okay, this could be a monthly payment, yep. then I can say, all right, this is what I got to yep, do to get it. This is what I got to do to get it. I can really start and doing do, some I math. I do keep touching on that, yo. Yeah, That's true. And, so, and I'm not scared to talk numbers. Yeah, and yeah. most people don't want to be, they don't want to be transparent with their life. I understand because privacy is a big thing. But be 
people love you if you're honest and genuine and you're transparent. So that makes people who are who they, this might be out of reach for say, I can get that. Yup, that's true. I can get that. That is true. I can get that. Yep. And we need that, man. Everybody you needs need that, that, man. Bro. No matter how successful you are, somebody, sometimes you just need that extra push. Yeah, Straight you know, up. I watch, I watch uh, Mark Cuban a lot of times, and I feel like Mark Cuban's out of reach. Yep. But if I see somebody like you, and I'm from the inner city, or no matter yep. where I may be, I say, if he do it, I can do it, because he's it. in reach. Yep, yep. Yeah. 100%. So yep. when you see somebody in reach doing things that you would like, like, fam, you, you do YouTube for a living. Yep. And it's it's making a livelihood for you, Yep, bro. it is true. Yeah. It is true. Yep, thanks to y'all, too, by thanks the way. Thanks to the survivors, Much appreciated. Much for all the love and all that. Yeah. I, I appreciate it. Everything. Nothing Everything. Job, Nothing man. goes unseen either. Every yep. comment, I see everything. Even the negative ones that be talking shit. Yeah, and you need that because that means <laughs> you're doing that. something right. That is true. Yeah. If they ain't talking shit, you ain't doing it right, man. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. It's going to be controversial sometimes. Yeah, 100%. This is a hell of a whip. I like uh, everything that the challenger's doing. They got a lot of different lines. Yes, so they that's come. What, they hitting the streets hard yeah, right now, they, ain't they? They flood the market. They flood the supply, So that's what they need to do. They flood it. So there's a lot of different options. Scat pack, you can get the TA. Yep. You can get, you know, the demon is coming next yep. year. The top of the line is always the hell. Yeah, so to now the they move. give you a lot of options. Yep. You know, not just the basic two or you That's know true. RT. Yep. When I first got RT, it, it was just, scat pack, yeah, and just SRT, simples. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Now it's they coming a lot. out with TAs, they coming yeah. out with everything. You got they the one that us. that three guy. Oh, uh, yep, the, the GT, drive. you got yeah, the GT, so. you got the RT, you got the RT Plus, you got the Scat Pack, you got the SRT, you got the Hellcat, you got the Demon. It's you a lot of the, the, You even got the Jeep uh, Trackhawk. You, yeah. I mean, they're, they're going crazy right now, and I love it, man. Which, it, it, it lets a lot of people into the game. Yep. At a lot of yep. different levels. Yep, at a lot of different levels. Yep. And the thing is, man, is some people like might not have to enter like I did with a Honda Accord. Like, even PJ, he got bread now, but even he had the most raggedy-ass fucking... Dog, long I had a car, Fleetwood long Cadillac. Cadillac. <laughs> and I said I'll never drive that car yep. again. That's why I went on a limb and got a challenger. I didn't care what yep. happened. Yep. Yep. So you gotta just, you gotta sometimes you gotta put yourself in the positions to either sink or float. And what I mean by that is sometimes it's not always gonna be an ideal situation to um get the, the car you want or get the house you want. But if you don't if you don't test the waters and, and push yourself and go get it anyway. Get out there and figure it get, out. Yes, get out there and figure that shit the <laughs> yep. fuck out. You know what I'm saying? And it's saying? usually things start working for yep. you. Man, I see you over there. Yes. I see you over there. That B. boy can drive, yeah. man. Look, you know we. <laughs> you, hey, you can tell he's seasoned because he does a lot of reviews on a lot of nice cars. I'm looking around like, hey, look, we got first one. We crashing. <laughs> That's my guy, Pete, yeah, man. Seasoned, bro. I love it. Yeah. You're so funny, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh shit. <laughs> no, nah, man. But you gotta put yourself out there and you gotta uh, force the issue sometimes. Like sometimes, let's say, I'm not saying put yourself in a massive ball of debt, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying that Never life saying, is yeah. short, you know, and you can't just assume that two years from now, you're gonna be here to be able to get your life fucking house or so get your live. car or any of that shit. You gotta live, you know what I mean? Live, it's a it's a must, you got to live, people. You gotta live, yep, you're right about that. Life is precious, man. Life is too precious to not be out here living, man. So live your dreams, man, and worry about the other stuff later. 100%. Yep. Let me put this in. Man, now that is a TA. But we back at the dealership, man, mm -hmm. and pretty much to make a long story short, what I want to tell y'all is that putting yourself in a situation to succeed comes in different forms sometimes. Like sometimes, mm -hmm. like when I when I got my Hellcat, like I'm not making massive bread, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people was thinking it was a bad decision when I first got my Hellcat, you know what I mean? To, but I'm like, I'm more like, and he's logical, he's more logical. You know, he's mm -hmm. like, yo, I don't think it's a good time for you to get it, bro. And even my brother said it, but the thing is, Sometimes you got to put yourself out there no matter what people may think or believe now the thing is now I got my Hellcat now I only do I got it wrapped in this the most ferocious Hellcat you've never fucking seen But facts a hundred percent, but then now I'm also on doing the YouTube I'm also able to help people now so God worked through me in a bunch of different ways So he pushed for me to get it and I thought at first it was more selfishly for me because I wanted to just have my dream car But now I'm able to help people like you and yeah. other people out there who's in the same kind of position I was in or even maybe even a better situation But nonetheless sure. might not know the analytics behind the shit yeah. now I'm able to sit here and tell you how to do it and when you should do it And you know what I mean just wait for the right time and then all this good shit So sometimes you just have to just fucking do it Yep. And then let everything else figure itself the fuck out. Now, I'm not saying, now, if you can't afford no shit and you ain't got a good job that's going to pay for the shit, definitely don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But if you can swing the shit, 
then swing it. It's never going to be a great time to buy a fucking brand new car. It's never the right time to take advantage of an opportunity, man. 100%. You took advantage of it. None of us have believed. We didn't have no plan. We didn't know your plan, but you had one yourself. Yep, yep, 100%. And when you in your level, when you in your gift, when you operate in your gift, then things work out for you. Yep. And he got the right heart. And so that's why this is working out. And I'm just happy to be in this video, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I've been seeing three in the video. I like, gotta get a video of me. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man, that's real. This is my guy. He's also made the Corvette video too. He was the he was the first yeah, one I ever collabed with ever yeah. and in the, my video. One, the, the, the R8 and them videos the R8, work. We did an R8 video and we did and a, an, um, an, an Audi A7 video. Which I'm about but to those get, videos yeah. didn't work because my GoPro was acting up, and I wasn't very uh, skilled with the GoPro then, so I wasn't able to tell that much. But but I'm buying me an Audi A7. Yeah. It'll be here this weekend. Review. We're gonna do a review on that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we're gonna talk about all that good shit too. One last thing I want to say about my guy Slim and why I love of these videos is he's never acting like somebody else he doesn't cast shifting shadows and I always talk about people's character and yeah. being consistent in all facets of life one thing I love about him he's not trying to be uppity when he's with certain people or when we just got done we we're in Fury Fury Dodge and we're talking with the owners he has eight dealerships yeah. <laughs> slim is himself same I'm, way I am in these videos. Same way he is in the videos, yeah. same way he is. And so he's consistent throughout life, and I think people really appreciate that. And I don't know about most of the subscribers, but that's why I watch. Yeah. Because I love, like... And you my guy, too. And yeah, I'm your yeah, guy, you but you guy. yourself, bro. Yeah. Even if you wasn't, I'll be like, damn, that's a cool channel. Yeah, yeah. Because the dude cool. But he knows. This is my guy. Like, long before the YouTube, he's been my guy. So he, when he's watching my YouTube, he's looking at my YouTube, and he's saying, this is the same person. And I tell y'all that all the time. I'm no different. So if you yeah. see me, you come up to me, don't think I'm going to be a totally say different person. Say what's up, man. I'm going to be the same person. Yeah. Same exact person that y'all see in these videos is the same person I am in real life. Yeah, that's so dope. if you see me, come on, show love. And I'll chop it up with anybody, man. I'm just a people person. I talk to anybody, don't I be? Yeah. Yeah, and that's why this YouTube is going to blow up because yeah. of the subscribers Appreciate and it, your bro. personality. Thanks, Brody. Yeah, bro. But, man, we just got done doing a TA review. I think we mentioned everything we need to mention on this. Yep. What you think? This car is amazing. Obviously, it's a manual. We had fun like a motherfucker in that shit. Downships. I mean, the same. everything else is the same on the inside. We got the same backseat room as my Hellcat. Everything's pretty much the same. It's just nice as fuck, though, but it's a way cheaper price. So, another level. Yep, it's another level. And another the thing level. is, sometimes some people might not want to go straight to the Hellcat or to the Demon. You might want to pay 40 That might be your budget. This you know will get you in the game, though. This will get you in the game. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And they, the thing is, you could lease these. It's, it's so many different loopholes that you can uh, jump through to get into your dream car or either get a car that you can tr get in to transition to your dream car. Every Just yep. because what, what kind of car you may have right now, that does not define what kind of car you'll be in in the future. You have to remember that at all times. Because if that was the case, that means if I thought my Honda was going to be the car I was going to be in at all times, I, would have been more, I couldn't have been more wrong. Because now I'm in a Hellcat too. You wouldn't have got that Honda. I wouldn't have got that Honda. I you walked in until I can get the car I want. hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. And every day I drove that Honda, I constantly reminded myself that the Hellcat is what I'm going to get to and I'm going to have it by any means. When I, used to, I was doing game, it for yeah. years, wasn't I? That's my end game. You used to always Talking say. Talking about it for years. We'd be I'm working like, together. What you looking at these Hellcats for? <laughs> Two, this was two years ago yeah. he was looking at Hellcats. Yeah, two years ago. And I had that shit on my screensaver. <laughs> yeah. I would obsess over this fucking car until I got that it. That burning desire, bro. Yep. That's the number one thing. Yep. If you want to achieve anything, it's got to be a burning desire. Obsessed over the shit until yeah. you get it. Straight like that. But that's all we got for y'all today, man. Yep. We didn't talk about everything you need to talk about. We talked about the exterior, interior, the engine, the stick, all that good shit. So just like that, we out of here. We gone. Dope, bro. Turn out that thing like this, hopping out the coop a little bit. Hey, <laughs> hey, Real quick, let me pop this hood up for y'all, show you what's up under there. Boom, 5.7 liter V8. Got that good air filter right there. That shit look beautiful. Blue, too. This look nice, I ain't gonna lie to you. Real nice. All right, now we got 485 horsepower, 475 pound-feet of torque. Yep. Now, I'm not about to get into all the analytics and engineering behind the engine. That's all I got for y'all. Y'all ask me to pop the hood, I pop the hood. Fuck that. That's all I got. This is my guy, Gary. He don't like to be on the camera, but he's on there now. Yeah. Look. He sets me up. This is the sales manager, man. You want to get a good car and a good deal, Gary? Who they should come talk to, man? Come see me. Come see him. Oh, What's up, man? Oh, yeah. This is my guy, Dale. You know, this is the one who sold me my Hellcat, him and Bino. Over here. Yeah, come up here and see him. We go get you all the way together. You see, Pete got the VIP access. He could just go behind the desk and look at him. He just must be nice. Look. <laughs>